the income expenditure model, the multiplier in a simple economy. The multiplier. The multiplier in a simple economy shows how much national income increases due to an initial increase of the autonomous expenditure. That is, an increase in A leads to an increase of national income. What is its value? Graphically, it can be shown that the final increase observed in income is higher than the initial increase of the autonomous expenditure. How can it be shown? Starting from the equilibrium point E sub zero in the income expenditure model, there is an increase from A to A prime so that the aggregated demand curve shifts up in parallel until the aggregated demand one. Consequently, there is a new equilibrium point in E sub 1, where the new equilibrium value of income is income level 2 stars. How much is the increase in income? The initial increase in autonomous expenditure is represented by the increase in A. If it's projected on the bisecting line, we get the same value. If it's projected on the horizontal axis, we get the value of the increase in A. Graphically, it can be shown why this increase in A is lower than the final increase in income. Why is this happening? Initially, the increase in A leads to an increase in income that is exactly equal to the increase in A projected on the bisecting line. Yet, in the second phase, the increase in income has an increasing effect in consumption. This increase in consumption depends on the value of the marginal propensity to consume and the initial increase in autonomous expenditure. This increase in consumption leads to an increase in the aggregated demand, which leads to a further increase in income. How can it be graphically shown? The initial increase in the aggregated demand produces an increase in consumption, and therefore, in the aggregated demand, in a value equal to the marginal propensity to consume times the increase in the aggregated demand. If we project that increase again on the bisecting line, it's obtained, once again, an increase in income getting to point y sub 2. Therefore, in this second phase, we get to y sub 2 in the income level. This new increase to y sub 2 in the third phase will lead to an additional increase in consumption equal to the marginal propensity to consume times the previous increase in consumption that is, the marginal propensity to consume times the increase in A, producing a new increase in the aggregated demand that will lead to a further increase in income. Graphically, this new increase in income will generate a further increase in consumption, equal to the marginal propensity to consume times the increase in A, which, if projected on the bisecting line, it will generate a new increase in income equal to y sub 3, thus getting to the level of income y sub 3. In the next six stages, it can be observed that the increase in income will produce an increase in consumption and, subsequently, an increase in aggregated demand, therefore originating further increases in income, though these increases will be smaller. ¿Por qué? Because the marginal propensity to consume is smaller than the unit. Therefore, in the long term, the increase in expenditure tends to zero, thus reaching the equilibrium at the income level Y sub 2. Finally, the total increase in income is higher than the initial increase observed in the aggregated demand due to the fact that in the different stages, 
there has been a progressive increase in income, though these increases have decreased.